All right, hello everyone. So welcome back to another video. So today we'll be doing a Q&A of some of the most commonly asked questions I get uh, regarding school, career, just things in general about mining engineering. Um, so let's get started. Uh, we'll have eight questions today. And the first question is, what type of projects have you worked on? So um, I won't be able to go into all the details, but let's start off with the capstone project that I did. Um, for graduating uh, from my UBC mining engineering program. So um, the capstone project was on seasonal thermal energy storage or STES for short. Um, so basically we looked at uh, modeling the heat transfer in and out of mine waste rock stockpiles. Um, and, and so essentially the idea is in northern uh, climates where it's very cold, heating is very expensive and we want to model uh, to see if it's possible to store the exhaust uh, heat from mine equipment, so like haul trucks, etc., uh, into those uh, waste rock stockpiles. Uh, we store that uh, uh, during the summer and then we extract the heat during the winter when it's cold and we use it to heat the mines. Um, so we actually use a uh, program called Fluent Ansys to do the uh, modeling of the thermal heat transfer. Uh, so that was our graduation project, that took around eight months. Uh, but then throughout my career, I've worked on different projects ranging from uh, designing a closure drainage surface um, by changing tailing step position. Uh, for an, an oil sands mine, I did uh, dump designs, site designs, scheduling, uh, pour plans for a coarse tailing structure, haulage system designs. So that's basically just roads and ramps. Um, and yeah, so those are some of the projects that I've worked on. Okay, next question. Which of the project was your favorite or which one of the projects was your favorite? Um, so it's really hard for me to pick just one, but I would say that in general, um, my favorite projects have a few things in common. So number one, they're all uh, multi multidisciplinary, multidisciplinary. Um, so that basically means um, it's not just uh, a project of mining engineering, but usually there are some other aspects involved. It could be, um, for example, costs, environmental benefits, um, things related to mechanical engineering, uh, maybe even some like chemistry stuff. Um, and then the second aspect is that they're very intellectually stimulating. Um, and so like a lot of the projects that, um, the ones that I like the most, um, they didn't have like one straightforward answer. Usually they involve some, a uh, trade-off of some sort, um, and that involves talking with the different stakeholders, understanding what the concern is, uh, before arriving at a conclusion and deciding, uh, which one we think is the best for the mine. Um, so those, those two factors inter interdisciplinary and uh, intellectually stimulating often they tie together but um, those are two things that are common to uh, my favorite projects okay uh, number three how did you become interested in this particular engineering discipline um, so if I had to answer that question with one word it would be curiosity um, so I became curious uh, about how to prospect and develop. Uh, at first, it was just an underground mine because um, I visited that uh, underground test mine in Sudbury, Ontario and became very curious, but uh, eventually that curiosity expanded to open pit mines and um, I was just very curious and just wanted to learn more about everything it takes to uh, finance a mine, to uh, uh, exploration, to develop a mine, how to close a mine. Um, so there's lots to learn and curiosity was one thing that brought me uh, to mining. Question number five, oh, sorry, number four. Uh, what different roles have you had in your career? So most of my experience was in the Canadian oil sands and currently I am a junior mining engineer um, at a consultancy. So starting in my first role, I was a long range tailing intern. Uh, second role was a tactical planning and scheduling student. Uh, third role was a core stainless planner. Fourth role was tactical uh, placement scheduler. Um, and now my current role, junior mining engineer consultant. Um, 
So the, the first four rolls was all at the end and oil sands mine. Uh, my fifth row now, I'm not tied to one specific mine. Um, I get exposure to a lot of different projects, uh, which I think is going to benefit me. Uh, okay, number five. Was this what you studied right out of high school or did you start with another degree? Um, so yes, this was my first choice. Uh, going into UBC Engineering, um, you do have to take a... Uh, the first year is all like um, your foundational courses, but then your second year is when you get to choose. Um, and then my, my first choice of program was in Mining Engineering and I'm very happy that I got selected for that. Okay, uh, number six, what was your degree program like? Um, so it, it's a four year program and like I mentioned, the first year is all, the, all your um, foundational like math, physics, chemistry. Um, there's a programming course involved too, but all your foundational engineering course. Uh, second year, still some physics and uh, some math, if I remember correctly. Uh, and then that's when you have your specialization. So I had a little bit of like core introductory mining courses. Third year was uh, more mining courses, maybe one or two like foundational engineering um, course. And then fourth year was mostly mining courses, some core mining courses, and then um, some mining electives. Uh, yeah, and then so that was four years just on strictly the academic side of things. But I also did two years of co-op work experiences. Um, and then so all in all, that's around six years for the program. Um, I do highly recommend that you do internships or co-ops, even if it delays your graduation, uh, because co-op is co-op and work experience are probably the most important things you could get out of your degree. Um, so I started in 2013 and I graduated in 2019. Uh, let's see. Number seven, what was the process like to get to where you are today uh, with a focus on getting licensed? Okay, so uh, this to answer this question, it may differ, uh, differ slightly between whether you're, uh, which province you're in. So currently I'm in the province of Alberta. Um, and then I did make a video on how to become a professional engineer and how, basically how to get that designation. Uh, but I'll summarize in short, um, in short, you need four years of work experience. Um, you also need to ensure that your work experience meets the 22 competencies that they have set out. Um, and so that involves um, technical stuff, um, uh, cost management, project management, um, teamwork, I think a little bit of leadership, uh, ethics, professionalism. So you gotta meet um, those 22 competencies. Uh, and then, so that's some work experience part. Um, you also need to do a professional practice exam that focuses on law, ethics, um, and professionalism. Um, and so this is a two and a half hour exam, all multiple choice, 110 questions, and you need 60% to pass. So between those two things, those are the main things that you need to uh, get your designation, but there are more, um, I guess like more things that you need to check off before you submit your application. And again, I'll have that, uh, and I'll talk about more, talk more about that in, in the video uh, that I've made previously. Okay, so we're on to our last question, question number eight. Uh, was mining engineering what you expected to be? Um, so I would say yes in general. Uh, although I came into mining engineering thinking I was going to do hard rock mining, so like, I don't know, gold, copper, or whatever, uh, but instead I got into oil sands, but all in all, I would say it's what I've been, uh, expected. Uh, you get some very challenging, um, I guess, like assignments, tasks to do. Uh, there's a mix between field work and office work, and there is a, such an interdisciplinary uh, I guess discipline, that there's always going to be constant challenges, lots of things for you to learn. Um, and I would say it's been an adventure and I think it's just beginning for me because I, I spent quite a few years or I guess like four or five years in the oil sands, but now with this consulting role I get to explore 
a lot more different commodities, locations, um, different tasks. So there's definitely so much for you to explore within the world of mining and engineering. And I personally look forward to a lot of the challenges that are going to come. Okay, so I think this wraps up this video for the Q&A. Uh, as always, if you guys have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. Um, or if you want to ask it on uh, Instagram, feel free to shoot me a message at my handle at Kwan underscore FVNG. Uh, Alright, so that's it for this video and we'll see you on the next one.